Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We are back for another Air RB video. Fly Daily is a go. You guys really seem to enjoy my Spitfire video a couple weeks, maybe a month back, and we're continuing with that with the British Typhoon Mark 1A. This is a plane that gets entirely slept on by the entire community. Maybe a few of you guys really appreciate it. This plane has 12 guns. Probably the most guns fit it internally inside an aircraft that's not a bomber, like a fighter. Yeah, there we go. It shoots 7.7, .7 and it has 5,680 rounds, which might sound like a lot and is a lot. I mean, it burns through the ammo, but with 5,680 rounds, you're not going to run out of ammo unless you're pushing six or seven kills. This aircraft is so good at 3.0 and is so lethal with its 7.7s. I never hear anyone talk about this. Everyone's always, oh yeah, P-51, F-6F, Spitfire, the Typhoon Mark 1A at its battle rating is almost impossible to kill. Sit back, relax, and uh, here we go. Oh my, is this, is this the, is this the top tier map for my 3.0? It can't be. War Thunder wouldn't put a top tier map at 3.0, right? This is, this is a subdued version. I'm going to take 45 minutes of fuel because, you know, let's be fully honest. I'm just not going to trust War Thunder, really. Yeah, 40, I mean, like, dude, let's just take 30 minutes, all right? The game doesn't even last. Yeah, you know, yeah, there we go. Whoa, close that. Oh my, look Look how fast that pilot's. Yo, one! Little test fire. Oh my god. Oh, wait, what did we set our convergence to? All right, 600. I think we might need to do like 700, though. So, uh, recently, uh, me and Banks have gotten into literally digging a hole down into our yard as far as we can go with like hand tools. I mean,. We're definitely not even at a foot yet, but you know, it's it's our new thing. We're out there with the smallest little hand tools. Um, we're out there for about an hour today. And then Laura takes them on a second shift. And the dogs also help out. And then uh, during some evenings, we'll fill the hole with uh, wood. And he loves picking up sticks around the yard. It's his favorite thing. And then we'll have a little a little fire. Oh wait, this is the top tier map, I think. Being being a father, you know, it really never prepared me for how much fun. Just the simplest things that we can do. I've had more fun digging holes with him than any toy I've ever got him. Even that um, train set. I mean, sure, we're gonna have a lot of fun when he, you know, gets more aware and figures out how to use it, and you know, we can do more things with it. But like. Screw all the kid baby toys and, you know, birthday present toys. Get a kid, get a toddler, some small garden tools. Oh, okay, these guys chose a lower spawn. You know, with rifle with rifle caliber bullets, I'm really not going to go for a bomber just yet. And these guys are going to get absolutely swarmed on. I think this is the top tier map. I feel like I would already be in combat on normal map on, like... Oh my gosh, you know what map I haven't played in literally forever? Preparation for battle on Hokkaido. Has anyone played that in Jet RB? I don't think so. Okay, we got a lonely P-38, high priority target early game. We do have the speed for him. He has no back gunner, which is very good for having rifle ammunition. Just because we're going to be uh, long on target. We're catching him right now. He's doing ground strike, actually. Maybe... You know, we'll, we'll actually let him... Ooh, P-51. That guy looks like he's grinding right now. We don't... We'll, we'll, we'll get him in a little bit. This P-51 is screwed. We're going to stay at this altitude just in case he wants to pitch up. He's going to... Oh, gosh. He just out... He's, he's going to outrun the IL-2. Okay, we're on him. Now watch our compression here. Okay, good. Yeah, it feels great. And pulling nine Gs here. 
More than the, um, oh lord. Oh, good gosh almighty. And we're pitching up to the right. Now, does that guy have a back gunner? Yeah. Maybe we don't really need a full, oh gosh, guys, this is not good. He's got me, he's got me, he's got me. Oh, okay, good. Okay, good. He, okay, he, he's distracted on other guys. We actually have proper players playing right now. Look at that P-51 squad, though. I'm just going to uh, saddle up and just get ready for the fur ball. Because you can climb all you want, but if the enemy... Oh, gosh, what is that? Oh, man. Okay. If the enemy team is on the ground, you're going to have to be on the ground, too. P-38 is moving. He's going to be able to outrun me here. Not anymore, though. Come on, guns. Let's get on target. Oh, my. These things are lethal. Oh, this, this, this is rifle caliber. Oh, my. Guys. Why is why is no one talking about this here? Oh, my. Uh, um... Okay, we've only spent about a thousand rounds of ammunition. No one talks about this aircraft. It's always the P-51 and the Spitfire. I mean, those are wonderful aircraft, but like... Hello? 12 7-point somethings? Or, uh, yeah, 7.7s? Okay, we got a 51 going back to an auxiliary base in the middle of the map. That is a proper one. Someone says, run, Halifax, run. Okay, we're going to... Uh, uh, form up with our teammates up here. Eight kilometers out. Mm. We're just going to slowly climb up here. Halifax is running. Let's see what he can do here. The Halifax, I think, does have 50 cows. But so does the 51s. Ooh, A6. The A6M might be fun. I think our team might have that handled. Yeah, okay. F6F just yeeted a P63. Uh, A6M2 got destroyed. All right, these are the last. Uh-oh. 51 back in the battle. We'll, we'll track him with the Hellcat. Climbing is what you're supposed to do, but if you climb too long and go after the wrong tar target, the enemy team has killed your whole team. And then without even a kill, I mean, it happens to me all the time, but without even really a kill, these two guys are completely foobar. Okay, now this air base is not going to have any uh, anti-air. And by the way, we are going to keep these guns at 600 meter convergence. Oh, that guy's smoking bad. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's just a fury. Oh, my gosh. That was absolutely terrifying. I don't remember the 7.7s being this strong. I remember back in the day, the A6M2 7.7s that sounded like cannons. Those were extremely strong. We're going to use these as air brakes. Yeah. Perfect. Great invention for, uh, you know, these, these are just backups. <laughs> Look at that propeller. Giant. Another giant thing is the freaking typhoon. It's like a famous picture with like 22 people standing on the wings and around the aircraft. Gosh, playing these like lower tier props that still have a decent amount of speed is just like, it truly is like what War Thunder was initially designed for. This stuff takes me back to like 2015. For those who don't know, that's eight years ago. Like War Thunder is like a 10, 11, 12 year old game. Very few games make it that far. It's probably because War Thunder is just a really good balanced game. Or a lot of us just have, you know, we're, we have addictions that, uh, you know, good thing where we're addicted to a video game and not, you know, hard drugs like heroin. All right, I'm gonna climb above the clouds. We got some uh, sun coming through. Second battle of LL Main down there. And another thing you don't really enjoy with jets so much, or like top tier, like 10.0 and above, is that you really don't enjoy the clouds because you're just zooming right through them, and you're so focused on, you know, being the best War Thunder player ever. You know what's crazy to me? There's some players that have more hours than me and Odd Boss combined. All right, Mig Three kind of scares me. We might try to do some bomber escorting here, but we need to stop climbing and get up to speed at least 400 plus. <laughs> Look how cool this is. Yeah, the clouds have really improved. Oh my gosh. A little blurry, but... Oh, P40. You need some help? 
All right, gonna get a hurricane near me, a Spitfire, good. I've got the help. As you can see, our closing speed on this MiG-3 is ridiculous. We've been, we've stopped climbing and, you know, he hasn't, but now he's turning towards me. How fast do you, no, he's turning away from me. Thank goodness. That hurricane got some serious altitude. We can easily outrun him. Okay, P-36, we're good. But we got to be really sneaky here. We want to avoid. We want to avoid the hurricane. And now we're blending in with his engine noise. Okay, the P-40 has made a move. The MiG-3 is now... Hang on. Okay, let's check the other guy. Okay, he's gone. Wow, P-40 did a really strange turnaround maneuver. Someone's really close to me. Oh no, that's not good. Okay, can we have altitude at least? Wow, we are very high for a fighter like this. So, gosh, I knew I heard somebody. Okay, we've got speed. Let's use it here. Good, good speed, good speed. Out dive these guys right now. Teammates. All right, we still got a lot of players here. Oh, yes. Good. Okay, that MiG-3 that was on me is now gone. Okay, this guy is fully turned around. Let's, let's, let's make our mark. Let's make our mark. Okay. This guy's full do, do doving. Okay. Breaking off. Okay, hurricane spinning away. MiG-3 is getting annihilated. Yes, good. I thought we were screwed there. Unfortunately, we were kind of the setup and haven't really been able to get on anyone's six here. Oh gosh, just one of these games. Oh, such a good setup too. We were just, we were just there a little too early. Look at this thing's speed, 700 kilometers an hour. Easily enjoys this. He's gonna make a move and then the guy behind me is gonna get the kill. Unless we can kind of get him here. Yes, aircraft. Beautiful. These things are just lasers. Thank you. Got to kill at least. All right, we got this guy's getting close to his runway here, but it looks like he's doing the bully. Oh nope, there he goes. All right, Tiger's gone. We have Joey. Oh Joey, Joey, where have you been all game? All right, two games, two wins. Now for anyone getting into Air RB and you're at lowish BR, let's say below four, a strategy that I like to use is that. I don't like to go for the high climbing guys because then all you'll do is you'll either get killed or you'll kill them and the rest of your team's dead or you only get one kill. I like to go for mid and low just because then you have a nice effect. Like that P-39 right there, it's a little too high for me, but F4U P-39, like this line right here and below is, is, is what, what I like. Okay. Well, that said, Yak1 getting chased by a 109. We're in good position to help out. P39 on his tail. Hopefully that they don't go down to the deck. Friendly? Good. We got a friendly with us. That means that I might eat slot in a little bit earlier than I would. Oh, can we get a... Oh, let's help. Let's help. He's doing it for us. But we don't want to get sucked into the same situation. Oh, yep. Yeah, I got to keep moving, unfortunately. Dang, I really wanted to help him out. Well, these guys really can't keep up with me here. They can't hit me. Nice, good, good, good. Oh, the F4, you already took out the P40, wonderful. Okay, now we're gonna be helping out the F4U here because he helped us out. Okay, we're latching to the F4U enemy. Come on, come on, Rudder. There we go. Oh my god! These things on target are incredible! Okay, are we cleared? No. Yes, we are. Okay, good. 
Oh, this is so fun, guys. I I just recommend this 100%. You have, you, you have everything in, in, in your tank to be able to pull out um, really fun gameplay. Friendly? What is this? Okay, yeah, friendly. Good. Okay, we got a nice cess down here. I'm going to take the cess pool. Good, Typhoon. I know we're pulling high Gs here, but you're doing a great job. Our speed up. Fantastic team. That was a great way to deal with that. And you know, you saw that first that first bit where it, that that P thirty nine was just tossing us out a, a fishing hook to go climb for him. But you gotta, that that other P forty was going to get us. So you just just got to buy some time. Just got to buy some time. This aircraft is so good. It slept on so much. I, I hear no one talking about this. But we do have one one guy still alive somewhere. Maybe back to base. This F4U shouldn't last at all. Especially, yeah. Especially with a BV-155 that I've never played. Let me know in the comments if you want me to. And then, let's see. This guy uh, orders. Let's do a little blinder. I assume back at his base. Yep, there he is. Anyways, um, I'm just alt tab and uh, don't mind uh, me Keeping looking how to build a rocket. And then covering that me and uh, me and Banks, position. not me and Banks. Honest, I am teaching exactly myself sure a lot of uh, pyrotechnics right now, just to, the rocket, just to impress Banks when he grows up a little older. Like, Daddy, I'm bored. What can we do? Oh, okay. Let's let's build a rocket, dude. I'm I'm definitely on a list right now, 100%. I've recently purchased potassium per uh, per megan per per meganade per 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 meganade. All right, we got a head-on king here. Let's go. Let's start putting the rounds out. Oh, they're so easy to aim too. I mean, I know. I mean, I I know I'm missing, but like you can just. Ooh, okay, easy. He's gonna turn around. I don't think he knows I'm behind him. Pretty much being able to make your own fireworks. Don't worry, we're, you know, they're, they're going to be stored in their own separate containers, even though everything's going to be safe. I know everyone says that before, but, you know, I do have a history of... Um Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed the Typhoon Mark 1A. If you guys want me to continue playing some ARB stuff like we did with the Spitfire 7.0 a couple weeks, months, month ago, let me know what we should play out next. I'm not really into top tier. You know, I'm more into... Uh, flying the aircraft skillfully uh, to, you know, with energy and uh, control like that, then, uh, I mean, we, we will, we can do some top tier stuff. I just say I prefer uh, the pilot is more of the master than the technology. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Peace out.